Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to improve your score on the integrated writing task. I'm going to explain both the reading and lecture materials, their connection to each other, how their major supporting details match up, and finally how to construct your essay. Following these steps will greatly improve your score, but you have to follow along closely. So let's begin. To begin, we need to look closely at the materials given to you on the TOEFL IBT. First, you will be given a reading. The topics are different from test to test, but generally they fall into a few categories. History, science, art, business, or government. You will also listen to a lecture on the same topic. Your job will be to write an essay that reports the information in the lecture and what the connection is to the article. Basically, how does the lecture argue against the article? But first, let's look at a sample article that you would have to read. For this example, we will use the topic of ethanol, a form of gasoline or petroleum. This topic would probably fall into the category of science. The articles are generally about 300 to 500 words long. And as we can see here, this one is about that long. You will be given three minutes to read it over. As a side note, this reading will be shown to you again as you begin to write your essay. So don't worry if you don't finish the whole article in three minutes, but try to read and understand as much as possible within that time. As you read, pay close attention to the main idea seen here at the end of the paragraph. The main idea here is ethanol has some serious disadvantages which make it an impractical replacement for gasoline. Basically, this is saying ethanol is not a good substitute for gasoline or petroleum. This is the main idea of this article. Next, you will begin to read the body of the article. Be careful to pay close attention to the reasons the author gives to support his or her main idea. There should be one main reason for each body paragraph. Can you see the three major reasons written here? If you saw that the first sentence of each paragraph gives you the main reasons, you were right. In paragraph one, our first reason is ethanol's production means less food for the world's hungry. In paragraph 2, ethanol is damaging to the environment. And in paragraph 3, its production requires lots of energy. This is how most articles are organized. Main idea as the last sentence of the introduction and the major reasons for that as the first sentences of the body paragraphs. So, now we have the three major reasons why the author believes that ethanol is not a good substitute for gasoline. You will need to remember these, or at least know where they are in the reading, when you begin writing, but more of that later. The reading is good because it gives you a lot of vocabulary that you will need for the listening and some of the most important terms, like ethanol, for example, are explained for you. If you have time left after reading the article once, read it again and try to better understand some vocabulary. Basically, don't waste your time. Okay, that's the reading section. In the next video, we learn about the listening, or what's called the lecture. 